Hello everyone and welcome to another segment of EverQuest 2 News. I am Andrew Zark and these are this week's top stories. Our top stories tonight are the Scorch Skies Celebration, Ethereals, Expert Dungeons, DOV Crates, Pride Bunnies, and Server Updates. Stay tuned for all the information. Scorch Sky Celebration is here, and revelers are flocking to the main cities in these areas to join in the festivities. This year you get a chance to get currency to get one of these amazing items. You can get this currency from quests that revelers will give you, and also elementals that are near the celebration areas. As for the TLE server, they have the full event, though Terranax only has the city portion. So don't miss out, it's going to be a great party. Ethereal Currency is here, and in a shocking turn of events, it doesn't buy anything like last year. To see the merchant, you're going to need to complete a Heroic, Event Heroic, or Expert Heroic weekly. The Celestial Quest will then grant you coins for completing this quest. What you can buy with these coins is the Heart of Luckland. This is a white adornment that upgrades like a green adornment from previous expansion. You can purchase these upgrades from Colassi Vol Luisa which is a merchant near Doomhilda Painface in the Savage Weald. A marker has already been placed on EQ2 maps, so make sure you update your map. Also remember that the coins are account-wide, so you can get them on alts. And now for more news about the new Whispers of Tyranny's dungeons, we go to our man out in the field, Antizark. Thanks, Anti. I'm here at Vexthal to talk about the expert-level dungeons that are out now. These dungeons are more difficult than previous dungeons, but offer better rewards and ethereal coins. These are gained from weeklies, and you can get them from solos and regular heroics as well. Destiny of Velius crates dropped not too long ago. They offer some rewards for the paying customer that you won't want to miss. They can be found at everquest2.com packs. First reward is a special crafting bench that works for all recipes. Next, there's a 66 slot bag that has an appearance with a goblin that pops out and some awesome looking pictures to hang on your wall or in your guild hall. Speaking of guild hall necessities, this crate offers a teleporter that will transport you to the entrance of every dungeon in Reign of Shadows. It also works for all Destiny of Elias zones on the time release server. This pack also includes an item that gets 15% speed boost to walking, riding, and flying mounts that can be set to auto consume. And finally, this crate includes a revolutionary consumable that gives 100% adventure experience and 100% vitality for adventure and trade skill all in one potion. Get yours today from the website. Pride Bunny Familiars are here, and you can get them for free from the marketplace. There are many to choose from, so get them all. They're a great way to show support for Pride Week and a great familiar if you don't have one. There's no new updates on patches, but here's the old patch notes if you missed them the first time. On Timelock servers, the ability to purchase the Chrono Mage and House Teleporter have been removed. Kaladim server, item drops by Ponzer the Propugnator, and Kale Jaquel have been updated. In raid news, Vexthal Labyrinth of Solace, the door leading to the teleporter for Xerkiz the Creator, should no longer become unusable if you leave and return to the zone. In Vexthal Beyond the Veil, Thalva Zakra, Fur should no longer kill pets with his joust ability. When Thal Zundrax Diabo falls below 20% health, the Va Din Shadow Striker and Scrapper will now become weakened, and the Deliverer of Solace during the Emperor Shresha encounter has their health reduced. In PvP news, mentored players on a PvP server will have an effect that applied to them that will reduce their stats and bring their closer in parity to the level which they have mentored. Characters will no longer be able to disband group if anyone in the group has been engaged in PvP combat. That wraps up the news for this week. Please join us next week for more EverQuest news. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, or follow if you enjoy the content. Also, here's some other videos you might find interesting. If you'd like to support my work, please consider donating, buying some merchandise, or join Patreon. Thanks.